Jesus to people who are directly appointed by uh, the Ayatollah in Iran, who are coming here with the express intention of furthering Iran's really militant and fundamentalist aims, right in the heart of London. You know, it's, it's, it's right in Maidavell there, the Islamic centre of England. You know, why have we turned a blind eye to this for so long? I think because we're incredibly naive. I mean, I started investigating this about two years ago, mm. and I spoke to a woman who infiltrated the Revolutionary Guards regime in Iran, and she said that she saw lists of people in this country, mainly Jews and Iranian diaspora, that they were setting about to assassinate. And since then, we've seen that happen. Just three weeks ago, a journalist at Iran International was stabbed, and he wasn't the first time they'd tried that. Mm. I spoke to someone who was leaving their home in central London, and men speaking Iranian tongue tried to grab him and put him in the back of a van in front of police officers, and no consequences came of that. I spoke to a woman who'd been in the same prison as Nazanin Rat Zaghari Ratcliffe, and she got warnings from Iranians based here that support the regime that they were posing as nurses in a hospital, an NHS hospital, and were going to poison her so that nobody would know and they would think it was a mistake. And I put all these claims to Tom Tugendhat, the security minister, mm. along with another one. You talked about schools in your, in your monologue. Mm. The School of the Islamic Republic of Iran in Maida Vale, mm. which is now being closed, but it had been concerned since 2016, offset of raised concerns. And a year and a half ago, a video emerged of children at that school, primary school aged children, pledging their allegiance to Iran's Ayatollah and to, to attack non-Muslims in an apocalyptic war in London. They're not trying to hide it. They're not, they they're not trying to hide it. And I would it. just say that, you know, there's only one word to describe the security minister, and that is weak. Because before he got his job at the cabinet table, he said they should be prescribed as a terrorist organisation. Mm. And now he won't even give interviews about it. Well, we're paying for this. A quarter of a million pounds in government COVID payments went to the Islamic Centre of England, which has been branded, Sam, the nerve centre for Iran in the UK. So we are actually paying for the privilege of looking after people who want to kill us. Taxpayers will be horrified and baffled by that. And I think, you know, I'm incredibly proud of the fact that we are an open, tolerant nation.